times I saw Batman Arkham Asylum, I didn't know what to make of it. Games based on comic characters generally suck, so I was careful not to get too excited about anything I saw. The fighting looked fierce, and hanging dudes from gargoyles is definitely cool, but the Dark Knight's extremely large forearms and stiff walk led me to a wait-and-see attitude. Now that I've beaten Arkham Asylum and am standing here telling you about it, it's hard to put into words how completely off my first impressions were. Batman Arkham Asylum is not only an incredible game, it's the best comic book game of all time. If you've missed the oodles of coverage we've had on IGN about this title, the story is a brand new tale that's meant to be the longest night of Batman's life. So you start by actually returning the Joker to the nuthouse, but he soon flips the script and takes the place over thanks to Harley Quinn and a couple hundred of his goons. Soon Commissioner Gordon's kidnapped, the bad guys have the Warden, and the Cape Crusader's gotta play the Joker's game if he wants to save Gotham from another kill everyone in town scenario. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for free. Knock me off! I dare you! End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! When it comes to presentation, Batman Arkham Asylum is a love letter to anyone who knows anything about Batman. Arkham's a cavernous, dark place with massive gargoyles for Batman to attack from. It's filled with the guards the Joker's men took out, filthy hallways, I mean it's visually clear this building has been through hell and it looks great. There's some screen tearing here, a texture pop in there, and the in-game cutscenes feature bug eyes and poor lip syncing. Oh, I thought we were both gonna die in there. But it's offset by cool character design and Poison Ivy's skimpy undies. There's a dark adult story featuring murders, liberal use of the word bitch, hostage situations, and plenty of fighting. On top of that, the main voices from Batman the Animated Series, Kevin Conroy's Batman, Mark Hamill's Joker, etc., are here to reprise their roles. There's no escape, Joker. I will find you. Ooh, I'm counting on it. Just not yet. And tape recordings of therapy sessions with Ivy, Killer Croc, and more inmates really flesh out these personalities in a way that will have you aching to get to the next story bit. Arkham Asylum makes you feel like you're Batman. Gameplay is broken up into three main portions, hand-to-hand -hand combat, attacking from the shadows, and exploration. There will be times when Batman's literally dropped into a room with a dozen guys and has to take them all out with his bare hands. Doing this breaks down in a simple-to-use, difficult-to-master combat system that's just four buttons. Strike, reverse, jump, and stun. You can toss in a batarang or grappling hook with the shoulder buttons, but basically you're just wailing away on the bad guys and turning their own attacks against them. If you can keep your punches and kicks on the money, you'll rack up combos and be able to pull off special throws and takedowns you've unlocked. Other sections will have Batman walk into a room and find a handful of the Joker's men patrolling. This is your chance to try out the Invisible Predator mode. Grapple up to the gargoyles in the room, kick on your detective vision, and then start picking them off one by one. You can glide kick in and knock them out, hang them from the ceiling, and so much more. This is one of your best chances to try out Batman's gadgets and throw an exploding batarang, blow up a section of the wall, or just grab a second floor enemy with the grappling hook and drag him over the railing. <laughs> All of these attacks, both the straight combat ones and the shadow stuff, is filling your XP meter. When you get it filled, you can unlock an upgrade to the Dark Knight's suit, weapons, or moves. It's fun stuff, and being able to remotely control a batarang is rad. On top of that, Arkham's a museum in terms of bat trivia. The Riddler's hidden 240 trophies, challenges, and patient interviews around the island, and it's your job to find all of them. Like I said earlier, the interviews are awesome, but it's also cool finding little subtle nods to villains such as Prometheus, Ra's al Ghul, and more. Outside of the story, there are 16 fist-fighting and invisible predator challenges for you to tackle and try to post the high score on the leaderboard. Whereas the brawls just give you scores for combos and perfect run, the invisible predator ones actually give you these little challenges like taking out three guys with three explosions at the same time. You owe it to yourself to read my written review. The game is great and I've only scratched the surface on why it rocks in this video. I didn't tell you about the mind-numbingly awesome scarecrow parts, the fact that you can throw three batarangs at once, or that Batman's costume and face take damage as the story progresses so that the big guy looks like hell by the end of the game. Batman Arkham Asylum nails this character, delivers an engaging Batman story, and is a blast to experience. Simply put, you need to play this Boy Wonders and Batgirls. For the full written review, check out IGN.com.